I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, on behalf of USS Kidd, we're on board USS Slater in Albany, New York, for another episode of High Seas History. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the Philadelphia Experiment. The Philadelphia Experiment is one of the things I get questioned about the most on Battleship New Jersey, right there on the Camden, Philadelphia waterfront. Allegedly, as the story goes, World Wave! A destroyer escort in the Philadelphia Navy Yard was being uh, tested on to become invisible or possibly to teleport. The story is often told in different ways. I see! That one's colder. <laughs> the destroyer is usually listed as USS Eldridge. Uh, she is a Cannon class destroyer escort just like USS Slater right here behind me. The project was also known as Operation Rainbow in some of the books about it, uh, although Rainbow as a code word Mommy. was already in use, so uh, it, it's unclear if uh, that is actually accurate. Let's face it, we're unclear if any of this story is accurate. The way the story goes is uh, Eldridge was trying to be made invisible using some sort of new electro electro uh, typhoon. <laughs> Amateurs. Uh, Eldridge was going to be made invisible using some sort of electromagnetic field, and it makes sense to use a destroyer escort like this with her uh, diesel generators that can create a lot of electrical power. So that's one part of the story that uh, Big might not be completely inaccurate. As the story goes, Eldridge is teleported to Norfolk, and then when she teleports back, not all of the crew come with her. Some of them are having uh, mental breakdowns. Some of them phase in and out of uh, existence. And, uh, Incoming. Some of them are fused into the ship's bulkheads. When Slater was selected to become a museum ship, unlike most museum ships, she wasn't chosen from uh, ships that the Navy put on donation hold. The Destroyer Escort Sailors Association went over to the Greek Navy, which was operating four of these ships since the 1950s and all the way up into the 1990s, and they had two choices to pick from. USS Eldridge and the USS Slater. And for whatever reason, uh, they chose Slater, probably because Eldridge still had sailors fused into the ball head. And nobody wants to see that on a tour. <laughs> there is no research that suggests that uh, Eldridge was ever in Philadelphia during the time of the purported experiment. It seems to be one guy's crazy story. What we think happens is they were actually testing degaussing equipment which puts an electric charge into the hull to make the ship invisible to magnetic mines and torpedoes. But somebody at a bar heard making a ship invisible and went all aliens. So the US Navy does not have any invisibility technology. Uh, in fact, invisibility is bad for a museum ship we try to be highly visible, so make sure you come out to USS Kidd, USS New Jersey, and USS Slater here in Albany, New York. Thanks for watching. <laughs>